welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for, for coming back. Um, and thank you so much if you've subscribed already. If you haven't, please do. I would really appreciate it. So, as mentioned, I am hoping to upload a video every week to my YouTube channel just to build up my albums. Um, and this week, um, I am going to show you how to make the True Bias Ogden Kami, um, which is fabulous. And I'm making it for my holidays this year. So you need lots and lots of wee cami tops um, in the suitcase just to throw on the evening, to throw over your bikini, whatever it might be. Um, but this is the perfect make. So um, when I made this um, pattern, I decided to go for a green silk that I had in my stash. Um, something quite, I suppose, that actually fit it into St. Patrick's Day, which is coming up here soon in Ireland. Um, yeah, it all just tied in nicely. But so this top inspires much more makes. Um, and you can dress it up, dress it down, whatever you like. It is just a fabulous make. So, if you haven't made it, get it, make it. Uh, let me know if you do. Comment in the the uh, boxes below and if you have any questions again as usual pop them in and I'll get back to you as soon as I can but enjoy um, the step guide and let me know thanks thumbs up bye okay so we're making the odd gem cami by true bias first of all just make sure you read through all the instructions um, and make sure that you cut your proper size so be sure to always measure yourself um, quite regularly and don't go on old measurements. They have cutting guidelines, um, how to lay your pattern pieces onto your fabric just for most effective use. So have a look at that as well. So when cutting your pattern pieces you will need two straps. You will need one front and remember this is cut on the fold. As you can see, uh, you will need a back, which is similar to the front, only slightly longer and lower. Um, yeah, again, cut on the fold. You will need two lining pieces, a front and a back. Um, again, these are both cut on the fold. You'll find also notches um, here, here and here. Um, just make sure to mark them. Based along the neckline, so basting means that you want to ensure that the fabric does not stretch when you're wearing it. You'll be basting all four pieces um, that'll be along the neckline. Set your machine to a longer stitch, around four, and just stitch within your seam allowance. For your straps, you want to be placing right sides together, pinning and then doing a straight stitch. Cut any excess fabric um, just to make it a wee bit neater. And then you will want to turn these inside out. I have used a safety pin that I attach to one end of the strap. I feed it down through the tunnel and hey presto. Uh, very satisfying when you see it come out the other side. So you want to be doing that for both straps. Press them nicely so that they're nice and sharp. Press both of your straps. So you've now basted your neckline. You want to attach the front and back pieces together. Uh, start by stitching up the side seams. So do that for both of your side seams on your top, as you can see here. And also do it for your lining pieces as well. So pin and then take to the machine and stitch as you normally would. You'll also want to roll the hem. Um, I actually overlocked it and then rolled. Now you can see here that um, I am attaching the straps. So you want to make sure that the right sides are facing for the strap as well. Pin them, start by pinning them at the front. Um, important that right sides are together so the stitch line um, is shown facing you. Now feed your top into your lining. Again, as you can see, right sides are together and pin the, the top of the strap together, ensuring that you don't move that strap when you're um, shifting everything around. 
So keep it nice and concise. Um, take out your pin and pop it in again, ensuring not to move anything. So what we want to do is we want to actually pin the back as well, um, catching the strap at the back. So ensuring that you don't twist the strap, feed it around the back and pin them between your top and your lining. So it's really just sandwiching your strap together and pop a wee pin in there and um, keeping it secure. It's so vile that you really do not um, twist your strap at this point. I've done this for all four sides and I'm gonna take this to the machine now and I will stitch around the front, the back neck line and under the armholes as well. you're almost done so at this stage you just want to turn your top right sides out it's important to make sure that you really pull um, then we straps out so pulling hard but obviously not too hard then you want to understitch the neckline and hem Ogden Cami. Am I saying that right, Ogden Cami? Anyway, fabulous make, so simple, so simple. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and as usual, and um, please do subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Until next week, see you later. Mwah.